funny. What did you put in it? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of different things, but I'll tell you, it would even fall on the Scrooge. It's not that strong. He said that Christmas is a humbug. And he believed it, too. More shame for him. He's a comical old fellow. In a pathetic sort of way. He's very rich. Or at least you always tell us so. Well, yes, but what of it, dear? His money is of no use to him. He doesn't do any good with it. It doesn't make him... It doesn't even get used to make himself comfortable. He hasn't the satisfaction of thinking that he'll ever pass it on to us. <laughs> and he makes an enormous profit in his business. But how does it profit him? It doesn't. I couldn't be angry with him if I tried. Who suffers most by his ill whims? He does himself. He takes it into his head to dislike us so he won't come here and have any fun with us. He wouldn't feel so grumpy if he'd just enjoy himself once in a while and join us in a silly game every now and then, huh? I say, why don't we play a game? Why men's fun, and I'll be it. Oh, I know why Topper wants to play. I don't say he cheats, but he does always manage to find Betty's sister, even with the blind man's block blindfold on. <laughs> I'd rather play some kind of guessing game. That's fun. I like that better. Let Frederica pick a subject for us to guess. All right. I have it. I'm thinking of an animal. A savage animal? <coughs> Ferocious. Can it be seen in London? Yes. Is it, is, it, is it kept in a zoo? No. In a circus? Does this animal run loose on the streets? It doesn't run. He walks. On four legs? No. On two legs? Yes. Is it a bear? Not technically, but he does growl. Does he eat people? Gobbles them up whole and their houses too. <laughs> Is it a termite? Termites don't eat people, silly. Did you ever hear a termite growl? <laughs> I haven't the foggiest notion of what it is. Well, I'll give you a clue. This animal not only gobbles up a house, but it gobbles up... My time is almost up. Our spirits lie so short. I am the ghost of the present, Christmas Day. This midnight, the world will go back to its philosophy of choosing the law, of doggy dog. Oh. 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 
can't stay. Thank you, Bob. I have a previous engagement with my niece. But thank you. Say, um, where did you get that turkey? <laughs> Why, don't you know? How should I know? And Bob, don't ask such ridiculous questions if you expect me to raise yourself. <laughs> raise my salary too? <laughs> yes, Bob, I'm going to raise your salary. Why should you work for 15 shillings a week when you're worth 100 times that much? And here's a little retroactive bonus. <laughs> a miracle. Yes, well, I want to thank you, Bob. Thank you. Young man, come here. Would you do something for me? Well, you come over here. Right now, you cast a very little shadow. I would like you to help me change that shadow of the future so that we can make it grow and grow until it becomes big and straight and strong. Would you help me do that? Uh, if you will just see the doctors, never mind the expenses, you take his pills, and I'll pay the bills. All right? Mr. Scrooge, it's a miracle. <laughs> All these years I've looked at Tiny Tim and watched his patient little face press against the glass. While life ran by outdoors, he had to sit there in the shadows. Now, because of you, you will be able to enter the Now, because of you, one lonely little boy will have the chance to have a bright shadow.